reliable internet, advanced Wi-Fi with Security Shield, and a free mobile line. All for only $49.99 per month. Spectrum Business, made to work. What do sadness or grief look like? We can't always know. Well-being starts here. The Los Angeles County Department of Mental Health is committed to your well-being. Take action for yourself, for your circle, for your community. Hey, Brenda, two carts again, huh? Shopping for office and shopping for home. You know, one for the office and one for me. One for the office and one for you. Yeah, ding, ding, ding. What about those? One for the office, the rest for me. Stroke a genius. It's where a final. Where else? Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. The U.S. State Department issuing a severe travel warning for a popular destination in South America. Well, the details just ahead. Good morning, everyone. I'm Carlos Herrera. There are going to be millions of Southern Californians driving uh, to their Memorial Day weekend destinations starting today. That's despite high gas prices in our area. We'll tell you what are the best and worst times to hit the road today and what CHP is doing to keep everyone safe. That's coming up ahead. I'm Eric Spoolman on the USC campus. Division I college athletes will soon be paid directly by their schools. How will that change college sports? That story coming up. Good morning to you on this Friday. I'm Jessica Holmes. A six-figure gig where personal housekeepers are said to be making bank. Good morning. I'm Jeremy Parsons. And good news. We found the clip. Jessica Holmes in J-Lo's new movie. We'll watch and celebrate the performance together. Plus, that new Inside Out movie set to break records already. We'll give you all the details coming up. All right, good morning, everybody, and a cloudy start to the day. Cool temperatures all the way through the first half of the weekend. Things do warm up in the second half. 64 coastal, downtown Los Angeles, San Fernando Valley, maybe some even light drizzle. 68 for downtown San Fernando, up to 73. A little more sunshine, hopefully, for the Inland Empire. Of course, sunshine in the high desert. We'll have full details coming in a moment. Kirk, back to you. Mark, thanks very much. Our first SIG alert of the morning now. Uh, this is in the Fontana area, the 10 West at Sierra Avenue. And we have a Caltrans camera uh, that can show you the backup associated with this. There it is. Uh, very slow going for drivers here at the 10 West at Sierra Avenue. Uh, the one and two lanes are blocked, and it's all due to a semi truck that slammed into the center divider. We don't know exactly how long this delay is going to continue. Uh, we will keep you posted. Now to uh, the 101 West at Ventura Boulevard. We're hearing about some debris in lanes. This is outside of the Woodland Hills area near Calabasas. Uh, cars are swerving to avoid the debris, and we're not sure exactly what it is at this moment, but it's creating some delays and uh, an important warning to watch out for that. Uh, well, that's the latest uh, from the traffic center. Frank, now back to you. Ahead of Memorial Day yesterday, members of the U.S. Army's oldest active infantry regiment placing flags at the graves of military men and women buried at Arlington National Cemetery. The tradition, known as Flags Inn, has been carried out by the 3rd Infantry Regiment, known as the Old Guard, for more than 60 years. It honors the military personnel who died while serving in the U.S. Armed Forces. AAA predicting millions of people will travel over the holiday weekend. KTLA's Aaron Myers live at LAX, where Aaron, it looked to us anyway from the cameras that it is already pretty crowded there. Hey, Frank, good morning. Yeah, it is getting busier here. It's expected to be the busiest between about 8 and noon. That's according to Hopper, the website here at LAX. And you can see it's picking up in Terminal 3. We're here at Delta, and they're expecting about 235,000 passengers to travel through LAX today. I found a group of ladies who are heading up to Seattle. I want to bring them in. Let's see if I can get this right. Me Marina, Dahlia, Kimiko, Yuli, and Jasmine. All right, there was Santa Monica Volleyball Club, and they have a tournament this weekend. Now, fill us in on what this tournament is all about. 
Um, it's just basically a bunch of girls coming together and playing a bunch of uh, games. We call them pools. Um, so it's about four teams in a pool. Um, we do two days of that and then one day of knockout play. So it's playoffs basically. Um, it's usually the final day um, and you just play until you lose basically. But um, the first two days are kind of placement so you can win your pool and it's like a best out of three almost. Okay, and where do you guys think you're gonna fall in this? I'm guessing you're pretty good. I, I hear you're pretty advanced. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, we're going for first, winning, going for all the marbles, you feel me? Yeah. Well, how exciting is this? You guys get to travel for this tournament. You're going to Seattle. I hear that you'll hopefully have a little time to have some fun, yeah. too, besides playing, which is fun. Uh, but what are your plans if you get to go out and about? Um, probably just explore a bunch. For a few of us, this is our last club tournament. Like, me, Marina, and a few others, this is going to be our last club tournament as an 18s team. So we're just trying to have as much fun as possible with this one. Oh, so this is a little bit bittersweet, yeah. too. How are you feeling going into this weekend, then? Um, it's, it's a little bit of both I guess like love and hate like it's obviously sad but I am going to go play college volleyball so this won't be my last time playing but for club wise this will be my last tournament oh my gosh I love that all right well you guys have such a blast this time in Seattle have such a great time and have a good time on your tournament too if you are heading to LAX it is going to be extremely busy so give yourself that extra time they recommend two hours for domestic flights three hours for international flights and you can see it is starting to pick up a little bit and on that I'm Erin Myers I'll send it back to you Okay, Aaron, thank you for that. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, people flying out of LAX will be using one of the most stressful airports in the country. According to the uh, travel website Stress-Free stress Car Rental, they compiled a list of the country's 10 most stressful airports. Congratulations, LAX comes in at number five. At the top of the list, Chicago's O'Hare. Second is JFK in New York, followed by Dallas, Fort Worth, and Denver. The list used factors like the number of passengers, distance from the city center, number of flight destinations, and ease of parking your car. The NCAA has agreed to settle several lawsuits that would allow colleges to directly pay student athletes. This has never happened in the 100-year history of college athletics. KTLA's Eric Spillman live in University Park with more on this for us. Eric, good morning. Morning, Jessica. Morning, Frank. You know, colleges pay their football coaches millions of dollars a year. USC football coach Lincoln Riley, what does he earn? $20 million in compensation? Well, some people say, isn't it time for student athletes to get a piece of the pie as well? That's been the argument, and pretty soon they will, thanks to a settlement, a legal settlement involving the NCAA and large universities beginning as soon as next year if you play a college sport your school would be able to pay you a salary just kind of like a professional athlete the ncaa and the five biggest college conferences have agreed to settle three antitrust lawsuits for 2.8 billion dollars the deal still needs to be approved by a judge but it would allow universities in the big 10 big 12 acc and southeastern conferences to set aside up to 20 million dollars a year to pay out to athletes in all sports. The schools would have the freedom to decide how that money is divvied up among the various sports programs. Here's how one of the lawyers representing college athletes in one of these lawsuits describes what this all means. Quote, this landmark settlement will bring along college sports into the 21st century with college athletes finally able to receive a fair share of the billions of dollars of revenue that they generate for their schools. Our clients are the bedrock of the NCAA's multi-billion dollar business and finally can be compensated in an equitable and just manner for their extraordinary athletic talents. Now, it was just three years ago that the NCAA lifted restrictions on endorsement deals for college athletes. They already can make money off of their names, images, and likenesses, or NIL. Many of them are paid pretty well from that. Now they'll uh, have the possibility of earning money directly from their schools. I spoke to a professor of sports business via Zoom, and he says college sports was never really that pure anyway. It might be an unpopular opinion, but I think, Eric, in many ways, it's, it's always been professional. Uh, we're only seeing a manifestation of what was going on in college athletics for, for over 100 years. Players have, many players have always been getting paid to go to the better schools. There was rule breaking. There was all kinds of things going on uh, to try to win. Yeah, a lot of people believe uh, that it's about time to 
put this whole process above board and have actual direct payments from universities to college athletes. In fact, in a recent poll, something like 67% of the U.S. public believes that college athletes should be compensated. We'll send it back to you. All right, Eric, thank you for that. Uh, it is uh, 808. Mr. Kriske, uh, we're tired of this gray weather. I'm, uh, it's May gray. But. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm going to take the weekend off. Okay. okay. Not the long weekend. I'll be here Monday, but I'm going to yeah. take okay. the weekend off. All right. And I come back with a better attitude on Monday. <laughs> Excellent. And a better for you. Yeah, fix it. I'm going to fix okay. it over the weekend. Absolutely. <laughs> but until then, sorry. Uh, you, sh you should see what I'm doing by Sunday. Uh, a little more sunshine coming in on Sunday. But there it is, pretty gray out there at the beaches. And it's going to be pretty gray just about any shot we take across Southern California, except when we go up uh, into the mountains or if uh, we take the Morongo Casino de shot in the desert. 58. Two degrees cooler than yesterday at this time. Winds are west at six miles per hour. Relative humidity at about 84 percent. On the Almanac yesterday, 67 average is 74. 1932, we set a record of 92 degrees. Uh, here we go with the wind advisory and uh, the air quality alert right there. You can see uh, that uh, the wind's going to be blowing around and. Uh,